Hey everybody, uh, it's Daryl back again. Uh, I was doing a uh, winter time hive inspection. And uh, this one here was a cutout that I did. And uh, I opened it up while I go to find out that the queen is dead. These are all the little sugar uh, fondant stuff that I made up. Uh, but the main reason for the video is to show you how you know your queen's dead. See right here? These right here, those are drone cells. The only reason why you'd have drone cells in the winter time is because your queen died and one of the uh, worker bees decided to start trying to lay eggs. Uh, so that's what we got going on. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'll, uh, I'll shake these bees off away from the hive. And the reason why we do that is to uh, get the laying worker out of the, the hive. Right in there, some more uh, drone cells. You can see they're pulling some of them out. But that right there is a drone. See how big his eyes are? No stingers. You shouldn't have those at the end of January. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, shake this hive out real good couple feet away from the hive and let the bees come back and uh, the theory is that the laying worker can't walk or well, can't fly so we're gonna shake the bees off of here and uh, let them all come back to it and what I'll do is I'll join this hive with another hive so uh, let's go to get the shaking all right what I'm gonna do is uh, I can't get the uh, hive and the uh, I'm going to shake them off in the uh, camera shot, so I'm just going to show you where I'm shaking them at. See, there's the drone cells. See how they're raised above the uh, foundation? That's the way you know you've got drones. Matter of fact, there's one coming out of the cell right now. Help me, help me, my butt's too big. I can't get out. More drone seals. See the drone coming out. I'm not sure why there's a larva just hanging out there. I reckon they were in the process of taking it out. I'm not sure. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I shaking the bees out 
Uh, my theory behind it, and it's just a theory of mine, is uh, if I try to put that, if I try to combine those hives together with the uh, laying queen still in the box, then there's a, a chance that she might try to attack the uh, queen in the other box. So to keep that from happening, we'll just shake them out on the ground. So uh, I'll give you a shot at the entrance and you can see the bees coming back in. As you can see, the bees are starting to come back. There's a, uh, you know, there'll be more and more activity as the bees come flying up off the ground. See how the traffic going in and out of the hive, or in the hives, picking up now. So. There you go. If you find that in the winter time, now you know what's going on with it. Ding dong, the queen is dead. Hope everybody's doing good. We'll see you on the next one. Hey everybody, I just want to add a few things to the video. Uh, laying worker is a worker that draw, lays nothing but drones uh, because she has uh, not been mated. She can't lay worker cells, so uh, she just lays unfertilized eggs. There's a whole another thing you can add to it as far as the difference between a queen and a uh, a laying worker and all of this stuff but that's a whole nother video but uh, the reason why I shook the bees out of the hive is because you don't want a laying worker added to a hive that you've got a queen in uh, I think that just like if you add two queens to a box you're gonna have a them fighting so the reason why I dumped them out so we want to get the laying worker out of that hive so when we join it to another hive in a couple more days we won't have uh, problems with the uh, bees fighting so uh, or the queen fighting the worker bee and possibly losing the queen that you added a hive to so that's the reason why we shook them out didn't really say much about that in the video so hope everybody's doing good and we'll see you on the next one